All right, what's going on? What's going on, people? Checking in with y'all again today. Well, this is like the second or third video I've made today. Um, reason being, I am, I have been at this shipper for 15 hours. Now this load was supposed to be a drop and hook. I was supposed to pick it up by 12.30 um, a.m. I got here at 12.30. Uh, the load has three stops. I'm currently in Monmouth, Illinois. It has three stops, all Illinois. Uh, the first stop is about 180 miles from here, and then the next two stops are about 50 miles apart. So I was supposed to be able to pick this load up by 1 a.m. Uh, get to my first appointment, which was at 5. I should have been there about an hour to 45 minutes early. And basically, I was supposed to get this load done with today. It's paying a little over $1,000. And it's supposed to be a quick run. A quick thousand bucks. Instead, I get here, and the load's not ready. Um, so I assume that, okay, that it, it should take no more than about an hour to get me out of here. Uh, they probably just are waiting on maybe, you know, two, three, maybe four pallets uh, of product to put onto the trailer to finish things off. Okay, so I, I come outside, I'm chilling, I'm watching uh, Netflix. All hour goes by, I send a message to dispatch. Um, continue watching Stranger Things on Netflix. Next thing I know, I'm going on my third episode. Uh, it's 4.15 in the morning. So I'm like, okay, what the hell? Um, at that point, I call the office, the shipping office. I speak to a, a lady, and she's like, um, well, we're in the middle of changing um, shifts right now. So the next shift starts at 4.30. So come 4, 4.30, they should be finishing you up, and you know, should we go from there? So I'm like, all right, cool. I watch another episode or two of Stranger Things. I basically finish off the first season. At that point, I hadn't heard anything. Another two hours had gone by. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. So I said, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. I got my phone next to my head, so if she calls, they'll, they'll wake me up and see what's going on. Next thing I know, I'm waking up, it's 8.30. And I have a message from my fleet manager um, asking for an update as to what, what's going on. I tell him, look, man, I've been asleep. I haven't gotten a call yet. So at that point, I call in again. And it's a new lady on shift. She's rather short with her words. And she's like, uh, look, you know, um, they're still working on it. You know, we'll call you when it's done. And that was pretty much the end of that conversation. So I'm like, all right, man, you know, this is some bullshit. I've already been here for eight hours, over eight hours. At that point, I get up. Um, I don't even know what I did at that point. <laughs> I really have no idea. I'm so frustrated right now at this point. But um, I get up, you know what I mean? I can't really sleep no more. So I start making videos is what I started doing. And talk to my fiance on the phone, talk to my mom on the phone, uh, got on Facebook. You know, just killing time, man. Like I said, when I'm solo is when I usually make my videos because I got time to kill for a situation like this. Now, like I said, it's currently 3 o'clock. I've been here for 15 hours. So I get out and I go check. Eventually, I get out and I go check the trailer to see if the doors are closed because this is one of the docks where you back into it with the door closed. They open it up inside the building and they close it and seal you up. So I go look and I say, okay, the doors, are, the doors are closed. And I have had the green light since I've been here. I never really felt any movement on the trailer. Uh, the light never went, never was red from, you know, when I was able to see it. So I'm like, well, it gotta be done. So at that point I noticed that there's an alarm light blinking on the, on the reefer, which I saw it when I first got here and usually that just is indicating that the door is open. I didn't check, I didn't click on the alarm button to check the codes. But anyways, I get out about one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, and I said, well, let me see what this alarm is, because the set point is 20 degrees and it's reading 72. And if there's product on here, then, and this is a meat load, that's not good. So I check, come to find out the alarm light is for low battery voltage. So the battery won't turn over which led me to do the video I did about, um, what the hell is this guy doing? Oh boy, this, this guy can't try to save his life. This led me to do my, um, my trick of the trade video, which uh, was about jumping uh, your truck or your reefer unit from the other. So I attempt that and it doesn't work. I leave it, I let it charge for a while. 
or for a while, 15, 20 minutes. Reefer unit still won't kick over. I see there's a, a Hirschback, Hirschbach, Hirschback, I think it's Hirschbach. One of their reefer service reps or techs is, is driving around checking their trailer, so I go and talk to him. He was kind enough to come over and look at my trailer for me. And um, come to find out that the battery's just dead. He checked the alternator, he checked the bells, he said, yeah, the battery's just shot, man. You know, um, That's pretty much it, I need a new battery. So I go inside and tell shipping, hey, um, under the impression that they're gonna have to unload whatever they got on the trailer to put on a different trailer. I go inside, I tell the shipping office, hey, you know, um, the battery in that reefer trailer is dead. And I tried to jump it, um, it's not working. And I hear her, the one I spoke to, she goes back and talks to this other woman toward the back of the office, but I can hear them speaking. And she says, she asks if the doors open because sometimes that's what it is. And I'm, you know, I didn't say anything, but I'm thinking like, come on, I'm, clearly I know that, you know, but they radio went to somebody in the warehouse to go check. He relays back that. The doors are indeed closed, but the key piece of information that I picked up was that there's nothing on the trailer. They haven't put anything on here. They haven't loaded the trailer. There's not one pallet on the trailer. So I'm like, I've been sitting here for 13 hours and they haven't so much as put anything on here. So the good thing about it is that, well, at least it wasn't any products sitting on here for eight, nine, 10 hours. You know, because it's like 85, 90 degrees right now, basically going bad. But the bad thing is, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and there's nothing on the trailer. Like I said, I had three stops. A 5 a.m. appointment, a 10 a.m. appointment, and the last stop had a 1 p.m. appointment. It's 3 p.m., and there's nothing on the trailer. Clearly, I missed all of my appointments, but I mean, goodness, you didn't put anything on there? I have no idea how much long I'm going to be sitting here. I'm looking for food. I'm looking for places to deliver so I can give me something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, luckily for me, I don't have to use the bathroom or anything. But, um, y'all hold on for a second. I think this guy's going to come holler at me. False alarm. But, like I said, man, I've been here all this time. And they haven't put anything on the trailer. So, the good thing was I was able to pull that one off the door. Park it and put a note on it for them not to use it because the battery's dead. Found another empty, bought it over here, put it on the door. Now I'm in the same situation I was in 11 hours ago and that's waiting for them to start loading the trailer. And when you know it, the light is red now. So they're starting to load the trailer. Only do it. <laughs> but, um, just thought I'd share that with y'all, man. That's trucking, man. That's that's how it is out here sometimes. You hear people complaining about reefer, uh, complaining about being unloaded and taking a long time to get unloaded, which is which happens. But this, it happens on the other side of the spectrum as well, where you're sitting around for hours waiting to get loaded for various reasons. Sometimes they're waiting for product to come in. Sometimes, I don't know. I, I, don't, I have no idea what took so long. The light is red, but I haven't felt any movement on the trailer just yet. But at least they're on there. At least they're getting ready to do their thing. So I'll be able to get out of here hopefully within the next three hours. I don't even know if I'm going to leave, to be honest. Because by the time they get done and I drive and get close to my old one, there ain't really going to be no parking. I mean, I could look for a rest area or something. That's probably what I'll do, depending on what time they are able to reschedule all these deliveries because like I said, I done missed out on, on a great load, man. We talking about $1,000 that I was supposed to be able to, to uh, put in my pocket in, um, in just one day, less than one day to be honest, 12.30 a.m. To, to my last one was 1 p.m. So in roughly about 14 to 16 hours, I should have had $1,000 in my pocket. Now, instead of having it in one day, I'm gonna have to stretch that out over two days. But Everything has a way of working itself out. That's at least, at least that's been my experience so far in life. So I don't build on anything. I just keep moving forward. But yeah, I just wanted to drop that on y'all, man. Been here for 15 hours and counting. Got a couple more videos I'm gonna be putting up, but um, y'all know what it is as always. Till next time, y'all be easy.